Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? My name is Denanu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And with this video here, we're going to be doing um, another E3 commentary here. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about The Last of Us Part 2. And uh, this is one I've been wanting to talk about for a mean minute because I'm a huge fan of the first one. Um, I think I played through the first game several times and uh, pretty much loved everything about the game. Down from the characters, down to uh, how the gameplay was, how... Uh, <laughs> realistic the setting was and things like that given that kind of sort of thing and um, I haven't seen a whole lot about uh, the second game uh, outside of this trailer I think I've seen um, I think they had like a teaser trailer come out showing um, I guess just Ellie sitting in a house or somebody sitting in a house then you had the uh, the one trailer that came out I think it was last year uh, where uh, a lot of people were mad at the trailer because of how violent it was and stuff like that and and uh, I wanted to make a commentary on it then because um, I never understood where that was coming from uh, given uh, where the game takes place and things like that I don't understand why people were mad about the violence being in the trailer because uh, that's how the world was that they set up in you know in the first game and that was one thing that I liked about the game you know not necessarily uh the violence per se because like i said i mean i'm an i'm an average person so <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, I'm not a serial killer or anything but i like the fact that they were willing to show how the deaths were they weren't afraid to cut corners as it were when it comes to games because a lot of game companies they uh they tend to do that and uh they you know because they don't want to piss anybody off or they don't want to uh, step on anybody's toes when it comes to what they're trying to show they don't want to get bad press talking about their product things like that and um, I'm not one of those people you know I loved everything they did even when I seen the trailer I was like oh man this is like this is vicious and gory as hell but I like it I like the fact that they're kind of pushing that and um, maybe a lot of people they they just aren't used to seeing you know women being super aggressive or being super violent but uh, in some ways, you know, women are more more violent than men <laughs> when it comes to a lot of things. So um, I don't know, maybe there's just a, a tons of uh, soft minded people out there in the world. But we're going to be talking about the sequel here. And uh, from what I'm seeing, I'm liking um, you had it was like two parts to the trailer. You had uh, the first part was, I guess, Ellie. Uh, I don't know how old she is. I'm guessing 16, 17, 18, somewhere around in there based on how she looks and how she's acting and she's at like a, a good old hoedown <laughs> with a few other people and they're dancing and stuff and she's dancing up on this uh this one this one girl who uh <laughs> i remember when i first seen the trailer right i was uh watching it with my brother and uh, when the girl kind of walked over to her she was dancing hard with somebody else and then she walked over to ellie and put her arms around her i was like damn you know she must think because <laughs> this is like the future where they don't have no manufacturing or nothing because society broke down right because they don't you know they don't got no deodorant you know they don't got no uh, no cologne no perfume they got on you know what i'm saying so you know she was right and uh they actually <laughs> she actually said that to ellie like <laughs> do i stink <laughs> i thought that was pretty funny but um i'm glad to see that they kind of uh, kind of brought in that whole lesbianism thing that they had from the first game um, I've uh, read a couple articles where people were talking about that with the trailer like oh why did they include this or that or whatever and I was thinking to myself like well she, you you, you kind of got that from the DLC if, if you played the first game's DLC uh, I didn't play it but I watched a, a bunch of people LP it and um, I mean it, it kind of gave that impression you know i mean you know who cares the fact that she's in the ladies if that's the way they want to take the character and their story or whatever then yeah hell hell i'm all for it <laughs> you care less what's up you know what her sexual preference is when i'm playing the game you know but i guess a lot of people are still hung up about that and what race and what gender a character is and it's just like i don't know man the world is is in a messed up place socially not necessarily well it's, well, it's always going to be a messed up place but when it comes to social media and and how uh people perceive everything it's just like ugh, come on man get over yourself but um the game was damn good the second part of the uh of the uh the trailer was a gameplay segment of ellie fighting against uh 
I, I don't know if these are random guys. I don't think they were fireflies or nothing like that. But but um, she, she was fighting a random group of people who I guess were trying to kill her. And they were showing the differences in the game engine and how uh, the new animations played out. Um, I love the new deaths. Uh, from what I was seeing, they had one scene of Ellie uh, being underneath the car and then this woman leaned down there to check under the car. She popped her in the face, 50 Cent style. And um, it, was, it was very realistic. Normally in video games, they just kind of give you the 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 bullet hole kind of sort of effect on a on a character model, but uh, normally in real life, that's not how bullet wounds actually look. <laughs> you know, you you don't have a big ass open wound on your face when you get shot. You know, you just have a tiny hole. Normally, that big ass hole will be on the other end of your head when you know where where the bullet comes out. <laughs> and uh, when she shot her underneath the, uh, from underneath the car. Um, you, you definitely saw that tiny hole. It was incredibly realistic with how it looks. Um, really appreciating that. I'm probably going to love the hell out of that kind of sort of stuff and all the little details that they did to kind of mess it up. And then I think you had um, Ellie got into melee combat with this one guy with uh, what looks like a, not a sledgehammer, but he had some kind of sledgehammer axe looking thing and, and fighting this chick with that had bow and arrow. And uh, it, it, looked, it, it, it looked damn good. You can definitely tell that it's uh, the same kind of sort of vein as the first game. Um, I'm hoping she still has Joel's punch lasers, <laughs> you know, because Joel was a man when it came to hand to hand. So um, I'm hoping she has uh, something similar. Um, and speaking of Joel, I'm not sure where Joel is. I don't know how uh, how long this takes place after the first game. But I know a lot of people were writing in articles and stuff like, oh, why don't you play as Joel? And I'm like, Joel was like 50 something in part one. So if this is, let's say, 10 years after the first game or maybe like five years after, I mean, he has to be, what, 60 some or pushing five years after from whatever he was. So he, he was like 55 in part one. Now he's 60. He, like, he ain't going to be out here doing none of this stuff. But um, they haven't really showed him all that much in the trailers and or at least in the ones I've seen. So I'm curious to see what's happened to him. I'm sure they got to explain that at some point. Maybe they're saving that for the actual game. And... Um, maybe it could be one of those things where where joel is uh either maybe he's stuck in the house type thing where he don't want to get out or because he's too old and he can't move like that or it could be one of those things where maybe she's taking care of him in his older age and something happens to him and that's why she's pissed and that's what is driving her revenge because i'm assuming it's going to be something similar uh like part one where you had a little bit of a, of a revenge story in there a little bit so maybe something happens to joel and that's what what motivates her in this game to go out and kill whoever she's killing in the game but um it could just be one of those things where maybe this is years after maybe joel died of something and he died and now we're just playing with ellie with flashbacks and memories about what joel taught her you know coming up or or, um, or at least for the few years that he was with her so it could be something like that too um, either way, um, I'm probably going to love the hell out of this game when it comes up or when it comes comes out, not comes up. <laughs> Let me talk like I actually have some sense here, but um, I can't wait for it to drop. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a Let's Play of it for my Let's Play channel and everything. So um, let me know what you guys think of the game down in the comments below. Maybe we can have a discussion about it and, and uh, ha hash some things out. <laughs> but uh, my name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.